On today's Smart Robots Review, we're looking at the robotics kit by Teams and Cosmos. Big box, but is that always a good value? Stay with me, we'll find out together. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. Hey everyone, welcome back to Smut Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics and other fantastic tech from around the world. I'm your host Elias and it's great to have you here as always. Today we're going to be going over this Robotics Smart Machines Rovers and Vehicles Kit by Teams and Cosmos. But first, a quick message by my awesome sponsor, JLC PCB. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, where you can prototype and order professional high precision PCBs online from only $2. JLC PCB boards are widely applied to aerospace, industry, smart robot, medical device fields, and also do-it-yourself projects for engineers, makers, and hobbyists. So check them out below, jlcpcb.com, $2 for 10 PCBs. This is a great company, and thank you for sponsoring this video. So here we have it. This is the Robotics Kit Smart Machines Rovers and Vehicles by Thames and Cosmos, a company that's been around for a long time and makes other kits, some electronics, some chemistry, and other science, which is uh, a good sign that this company cares about the products they make. They're all educational. I like that a lot. Big box, 233 pieces. So what? popped out to me first was, okay, great. It seems like it has an application just like any other kit. It appears to be block programming, which is a standard. In the manual, it describes how you can assemble up to eight robots, which is great. So if you, if you look around and see other uh, manufacturers, they will give you instructions to build maybe one, maybe two, maybe three at the most, or four robots or different machines from their kits. Here you get eight which is really nice. Now, yes, you can use your imagination, but it's also nice to have a guide for you to show you, okay, you can build this robot and it will do this. And then you can build on that. Now, this is how you learn. You, you build, you experiment, and hopefully then you use your imagination if, you can, if you're still interested to build something else uh, that you desire and something that's more uh, interesting to you. So, all great stuff. I really liked how how these pieces snap in together and the the models that they sh they show you are easy to assemble this one took me maybe uh, half an hour half an hour <laughs> now the piece is a little bigger which is nice because that means you can start early with these kits so this is like eight it says ages 8 to 14. i don't know why it stops at 14. <laughs> at least and i picked on this uh, on the unboxing so uh yes it definitely uh eight-year-olds and up, but uh, why 14? Oh, that's, that's, that's curious. Uh, I'm an adult. I love to play with things like this. I think any engineer might be uh, interested in uh, building things. And if, if a kit like this offers you the opportunity to be creative, why not? So anyway, okay, that, <laughs> there's that with, I'm done with my rant. All right, so yeah, you can assemble these kits very fast. It comes with two motors. Uh, the kit and also an ultrasonic sensor here I have that ultrasonic sensor here installed uh, which is really nice and uh, comparative to other kits some of the kits include more motors maybe another sensor or two but for the price which I paid about $61 and this ranges between uh, 60 to 100 dollars and other kits similar to it by teams and cosmos are in that range and sometimes they go over the 100 dollar barrier in the united states if you can get this kit for around 60 to 70 dollars seems to be like a, a reasonable price for this kit so here we are we have it i built this very first kit and i have to admit that's where i stopped so this particular robot you assemble it and you install the ultrasonic sensor, the motors, the wheels, everything here you see. And then you download the app. Uh, the app is easy to find, available on Android and iOS. Uh, you, it does require that for your, for your device, for your iPad, for your tablet, for your phone to support Bluetooth 4.0, which is pretty standard right now. So here I have the kit. I, I assembled it, I downloaded the app and 
the app has some sample programs. Now, one of the programs here, the one recommended for this kit, for this robot that I assembled, uh, it's meant to, uh, once you download the program, it's meant to uh, allow the robot to rover around, and when it encounters an obstacle, when it detects an obstacle, it will stop, change direction, and go the other way. And that's great. It did exactly as advertised. I was pleased. It's a nice little uh, small compact robot, robot and it teaches you a little bit about ultrasonic sensors. Even the manual includes some information about uh, how ultrasonic sensors work, which is fantastic. This is what you want. You want a kid to educate. My issue though, <laughs> my issue with it is the application is not intuitive. I think the application is overly complicated. It could have been a little easier to use if they followed the standard of some of the other companies. I think it's fine to be a little different, but in this case, it seems to me like that application is more more suitable for kids, let's say 12 and over, maybe even 14 and over, high school kids. Now that's my opinion, but I have seen a few of these uh, comparative kits out there, and this one by far, easy to assemble. Yeah, it took me half an hour to assemble this robot, but if the application is overly complicated for a child, they may lose interest. And I have some concerns there. Now, it has, there is value here. There's really good value because you can build many different robots that have, that can display many different property uh, behaviors based on their, on their configuration and the programming. However, again, there's that uh, risk there of a child, a younger child losing interest and then just using it as a just a remote control robot instead of actually doing any programming uh, which is fine but then you're paying you know that price for a remote control robot and not a programming kit so that's what i think about this kit and i'd love to hear what you guys have to say so what do you think about today's show what do you think about this kit do you own this kit what are your opinions on it the opinion that matters the most is always your opinion so leave all that down below in the comment section i'd love to hear from you also if you enjoyed the show today make sure to click the like button down below if you're watching it on youtube and uh, if you have not done it so already and you enjoy watching my shows click the subscribe button also next to the thumbs up button and if you want to be notified when i get new episodes on and when i go live uh, click the bell button next to the subscribe button i know so many buttons just press them all except for the thumbs down but yeah <laughs> Yes, so if you want to be notified, click that bell button and they will inform you. And uh, if you want to support my show further, uh, I have my Amazon links below in the description. I am an Amazon affiliate, and if you guys buy anything from Amazon, uh, many of us shop at Amazon, including myself, even a toothbrush goes a long way for me to uh, get more robots and make more shows like this. So thank you for your support. I hope you enjoyed today's show. And with that, thank you for watching Smart Robots Review.